Hey guys, Anthony here with an overview of Coach Zippy, a fully hosted online platform with which you can create online courses and membership sites. If you haven't yet, I'd encourage you to watch this Coach Zippy introduction video. Now, before I proceed, I'd like to mention that what you see in this overview video are features that come with the Coach Zippy premium upgrade. So I'm logged into my Coach Zippy account. And I'm in the dashboard section. This is a brand new account. And in this main dashboard section, it displays some useful stats for your entire CodeSubby account. Down below, you'll see this button to create a school, but we won't get into this right now. Let's go to the My Schools section. And in this section is where you can start creating your schools. In this video, we won't get into how to create a school because I'll be creating a separate video. But you'll find this demo school in your CodeCP account, so let's explore it. If you click on this ellipsis icon, you will see these three options to edit, preview, and delete the school. So first, let's take a quick preview of the school webpage. This can be fully customized. And let me scroll down so you can see the other half of the school page. This demo school has four courses, and as you can see, it looks pretty neat. Okay, so let's go back to the My Schools section. And this time I'll click on the settings button to go into edit mode. And here you'll see a dashboard which is similar to the main dashboard, except that this particular dashboard is for this specific school. In this section at the top, you'll see a few details about the school, like the published status, school URL, and the date it was published and updated. And down below, you'll see this button to create a course in the school. In this left side panel, you'll see various sections to manage and customize your school. In the Manage section, you'll find several subsections to customize your school. Now, I'm not going to cover every section in this overview because I'll cover the details in separate tutorials on how to create a school and course. In the Theme section is where you can add a school logo, favicon, and banner. And down below, you can choose fonts for your school and theme colors. In the Domain section is where you can change the subdomain and add a custom domain if you wish. Under Navigation, you can customize the navigation menus. Under Social Preview, you can add a meta title, description, and image. You can add instructors in this section. Under Pages, you can add additional pages to your school. Here you can moderate comments. And finally, under Custom Text, you can fully customize all the text in pretty much every section. Now let's go back to the school dashboard. And what we looked at so far is the manage section. Under courses is where you can create new courses. I'll click on a specific course and you'll see a whole bunch of new subsections. And there are a lot of subsections here. Like I said earlier, I'm not going to get into all the details, but let me cover a few of them. Under Information, you can add basic details like the course name, instructors, etc. You can also change the page URL, and down below is the Affiliate Management System. You can also set up your branding in a promotional video. Under Curriculum is where you can manage all your content like modules and lectures. You set up your pricing here. Manage drip feed content. Set up students and issue certificates. And you can add FAQs here. And there is so much more. Like I said earlier, I'll cover this in more detail in my separate tutorial on how to create a course. Let's go back to the My Schools section. And we just covered what was under Courses. In the Sales section, it'll display all your sales for this specific school. Going back to the My Schools section, under Users, it will display all your students here. Under Community is where you'll see all the community activity for your school. And finally, under Settings, in the General tab, you can customize your school name, description, address, etc. Here you can control the progress and comment settings, as well as set up your blog for the school. Under Notifications, you can enable or disable several notification settings. Here you can customize your email notification 
when a new student joins your school or leaves a comment. And under Payments, you can choose your PayPal and Stripe accounts. Let's go back to the school dashboard, and that pretty much covers all of these sections. If you click this section at the top, it will notify you of any action you need to take. In this case, it's the app integrations. And if you click on the Go button, it will take you to that section. In the Profile section, it will give you a quick snapshot here. And down below, you will see several quick links. The Tutorial section will open a new tab where you'll find an extensive knowledge base. The Wallet section is the proprietary Mintware payment system, and I'll cover this in a separate video. Here you'll see notifications, and the CodeCP platform is available in English, French, and German. And finally, if you're looking for any help, you can click this icon at the bottom and use the search box, as well as open a support ticket if you need to. Well, that pretty much covers most of the sections in CodeCipi. Look for my other CodeCipi tutorials, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.